here are the three things that I wish I would have known about EXP before joining. Who am I? I'm Colin Nathan Aleem, the real estate boy, and I'm a licensed real estate agent in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Delaware. Now, if this is your first time to my channel, please hit the notification button and also hit the subscribe button. Now, let's jump into the three things that I wish I would have knew before the joining EXP. Now, the first thing I wish I would have knew is what a sponsorship was. Sponsorship is who you'll be joining when you join EXP. Now, the way it's set up is your sponsorship, in, in my opinion, can either make you or break you. Uh, when you join EXP, uh, you can join as a solo agent. You also can join a team. But they have a structure as far as a sponsorship where your sponsorship can offer you assets also. So let's go step by step as far as what a sponsorship is. Now at EXP, they have something where it's called a, um, a, revenue, a revenue organization. And what that means is that at EXP, there's an 80-20 split. So there's an 80-20 split, meaning that when you do a deal, you get 80% of the commission, 20% of the commission goes to EXP. So with EXP's model, which I think is the best model out there, bar none, is that they take that 20% and they share some of the, that revenue with the person who sponsored you into the company, meaning the person who helped you come into EXP. Now, okay, most brokerages don't do this, but with EXP's model, it's set up to where they share some of, of that uh, revenue with the one who helped you come into the business. And then that revenue is shared with people. So it's not a pyramid. So a, a pyramid is where based on what you get, the person above you get a little some and the person above them get, and it comes from you. Okay. EXP's revenue sharing is not a pyramid. Because whether a person sponsored you or not, that 20% is going to EXP like most brokerages. Most brokerages, there's a split. The difference is in other brokerages, they don't break it down with the agents. They keep all the money. Now, I've been with Keller Williams. I've been with Realty One. I've been with um, Remax. I've also been with Compass. So most of those, there was a split. So when they have a split, most of that money went to the brokerage and you didn't see any more of those monies. But with the way that EXP is set up, EXP's part of the split, they give back to those who helped you come into the company. Okay, so that produces the upline. And so with that upline, these are people that you normally probably wouldn't have access to. You probably wouldn't have access to. On my upline, literally I have millionaires on my upline that if I was to try to pay for their time, I probably couldn't afford it. <laughs> I probably could not afford it. But because I'm in their organization, I have access to them. I can call them up. I have their cell phone number. I can have meetings with them. I can have one-on-one -on -one meetings with them and pick their brain. Why? Because of the way EXP has their sponsorship. So your sponsorship with EXP can really make you or break you in my opinion. Now, I look at it like the 80% bell curve, okay? You're going to have 10% the extreme and 10% the extreme. So you're going to have 10% who they're rock stars. And whether they're with EXP or whether they're with uh, Joe Blow brokerage, they're rock stars. So they're going to do their thing. Okay. But, and then you have the other 10%. I'm going to just say it like this. They're, they would fail where, wherever they are. Okay, whether they're at EXP, whether they're at Keller Williams, or whether they're at Century 21, they're going to fail. But then you have the 80%. And with EXP sponsorship, that sponsorship without taking any extra money from you, 
they can offer you different things. For example, now my personal story, I've been with EXP twice. When I was with EXP the first time, I experienced a bad sponsorship. Now, I want to say it like that where the sponsor wasn't necessarily bad, but there was no platform. The sponsor didn't have a platform to support the people in their sponsorship. So when I went to go join EXP the second time, I knew, okay, look for the sponsorship. And I researched different sponsorships. And in my opinion, and in, in, in my research, and in my experience with them now, this is the best sponsorship bar none. It's the Wolfpack. The Wolfpack. So the sponsorship that I joined, number one, gives you leadership, which is one of the most important things. So our leadership is the top in the company. Now, <laughs> mostly everybody says that. Everybody says, oh, well, my leadership is the top because if, if it's all going like this, then yeah, within your leadership is probably the top. But my direct sponsor has the most agents on his front line. And this might be a little bit foreign to some of you guys, but has the most front line agents in the company, bar none. Bar none. And what's different with our sponsorship is our leadership, their sole job, I want to say, if, if I could use this word, or their sole purpose is to support us, is to support the sponsorship. So a lot of sponsorships, They'll say, yeah, we have this, 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 and this, but the person you join, they may be still in production. And they may not have access. We have access to the number one social media trainer in the world for real estate agents, for real estate agents. The number one trainer in the world. So this is a person that has coached over 3,000 agents who has a social media agency himself and we have access to them. We also have access to their training. We also have access to their training. Now, everybody, this is a buzzword. This is like a real estate dog whistle. Training, 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 training. Well, in the Wolfpack, we're trained how to use modern technology to build your business. Modern technology. Now, from EXP, you can get how to cold call, how to door knock, um, how to do open houses, all of your traditional ways of getting business. And that's fine. And they work. Everything works. But as far as fighting, finding, not fighting, finding current and modern ways on how to expand your business. There's nobody doing it like my sponsorship is doing it right now by teaching you how to utilize social media, how to utilize YouTube, where you're seeing this video at, how to utilize Facebook, that includes ads, how to utilize TikTok, how to utilize Instagram, how to utilize LinkedIn. How do you utilize these things? We're teaching you one-on-one. -on -one. I'm teaching people one-on-one -on -one how to use these things in order for them to grow. We, we have people within the Wolfpack that they're doing first year, doing 60, 70 deals just off of YouTube. Just off of YouTube. And if you contact me, I can send you their YouTube so you can check it out. And everything that they learned was because of the sponsorship. Was because of, of the sponsorship. We, we have a hub, okay, within the Wolfpack that shows you step by step on what to do. Once you join EXP. Also, what type of what type of business plan do you need to do? 
What type of vision board do you need? It takes it handholds you step by step on what to do. A lot of other sponsorships don't have that. We also have masterminds. And because the founders of our sponsorship are rock stars, they bring in rock stars. And not just rock stars and not just talent from EXP. They're bringing... They're bringing talent from the entire real estate market. And we have masterminds three, four times a week. Where we're, we're being taught everything. We're being taught everything. And that's on top of what EXP gives you. So this platform that we have called the Wolfpack, like I said, to me is the best bar none. We have a social media academy that we already talked about. And we also have an investor academy also. It's where we're showing you step by step on how to invest in properties. So if you want to be an investor with a real estate license, we got you. Also, if again, if you want to learn how do I do this business without having to cold call, or having to door knock, or without me having to actual beat call everybody in my phone book, or 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 pester everybody that's in my circle. How do I do that using modern technology? Again, we have the best social media trainer out there in the world, so we have the information. And joining our sponsorship, you get access to all that. And there's plenty more. There's plenty of stuff that I'm not talking about. But sponsorship matters. And I think before joining EXP, if I would have knew the right spot, let, let me tell you how not knowing this cost me probably millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. And the reason I say that is because with EXP, you also get stock ownership. You get stock ownership. So what you can do is every deal that you close, you can dedicate a piece of your commissions to go to buying company stock. So you're an owner. You're an owner. So. When I joined, I told you I've been with all of these companies. EXP was the second company I was with. But because my sponsorship wasn't like that, I left. Okay? I left. If I had joined the Wolfpack then, I went through about three other companies and then joined EXP again. And I'll, just, I'll, I'll let you in on a little secret. Not because of EXP, but because of the sponsorship. Because of the sponsorship, I joined EXP again. And if I had joined that sponsorship the first time, it was about three years, three or four years from when I joined EXP that I left until when I came back. If I had joined that sponsorship when I originally joined EXP, that's three years of business that I would have done where every time I close a transaction, a little bit of that was going to the stocks. You know how much that stock has gone up in that time and how much stock I would have now? When I was there the first time, I think when you got stock, you were getting it at a 20% discount. Now it's a 10% discount. So by me not being involved in the right sponsorship, I probably lost millions. I probably lost millions because what I do is you're allowed to you're allowed to dedicate 5% of your commission to stock. And I do that all the time. 5% goes straight to, to buying company stock. I'm an owner. If I would have did that three, four years ago, you know how much stock I would have had and the business that I've done in the interim? Man. 
I don't like to think about it because sometimes it makes me sad. Okay, but it is what it is. But that's one of the biggest things with choosing EXP is the sponsorship. So with our sponsorship, and I'm not trying to say this to pump our sponsorship up, but with our sponsorship, you join me. And again, you get access to the top social media trainer for realtors out there. You get straight, you get access to one of the top real estate investors in Texas, who was the other founder of the uh, Wolfpack. And then you get access to me, meaning that I've been through this. OK, and I'll know where to send you and where to channel you in order for you to get the most out of the mentorship. Along with my social media coaching. So you get all that and it doesn't cost you a dime. It doesn't cost you a dime. Because your sponsor, the revenue or the monies that's going to him is going from EXP. It's not going to you. That's what makes the sponsorship so ingenious. And if you ask me, it's changing the game. It's changing the game. Let's talk about the game. Let's talk about the brokerage game, okay? So at first, many, many moons ago, I'm talking this was probably before I was alive. This is how the brokerage was, okay? You had the broker, and the broker is the one who did the business. So the broker had too much business, so what he did is he got sales agents to help him out. So at that point in time, in general, the split was 50-50. So 50% would come to the broker because the broker is the one who's bringing in the business. So the broker would get in the business or bring in the business, and then the sales agent would do the transaction because the broker, he was like the kingpin. <laughs> so he would get all of the business, and then he had too, business, he had too much business for him to do, so he would pedal it out to the sales agent. So the sales agent would actually take the ball and run it over the goal. So he would get 50%. And the brokerage is the one who actually had the, the listings. So then we had the advent of the MLS where they put all the listings in one particular. And I don't know, I don't know what the timeline is from this as far as when they made the MLS and when Gary Keller came along. So when Gary Keller came along, what he said is, okay, well, let's change this model. What we should do is the real estate agent or the salesperson should act more like the broker, meaning that we're going to teach them how to go and get the business. So when he did that, that kind of changed the game. So now we need to give the real estate agent or the sales agent more of the split. So then that's when... Keller Williams changed the game where now there's a 70 30 split in general to where the real estate agent, because the real estate agent is going and he's getting the business and he's acting more of a like a business owner versus an employee. Now it needs to be 7 70 30 where the real estate agent is going out, getting the business, basically doing everything. And then the broker is reviewing it. OK. So then that's where you have, there's, there, there was a shift in the industry. So now you have the shift in the industry where the realtor is now taking on more of the business. So they're getting more. So I think those, like, that was kind of, okay, this is the pre-dawn, this is the, the, the dawn. Now, after that, I feel like EXP is going to change the complete model, okay? The complete structure with this sponsorship model, with this revenue sharing model. Because what they've done is they've improved on what Keller Williams have done. They improved on the system. So now, when now that agent who is now doing the business now, what's that agent doing? Now that agent is sponsoring other agents into 
EXP. And it's something that agents are already doing. It's something that agents are already doing. When people ask agents, like, this world, it runs on word of mouth. Hey, 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 I need to do this. What do you think about it? Hey, I need to do this. What do you think about it? Hey, Khaled, you're an agent. Which agency should I join? Nine times out of 10, that agent tells that person, hey, join my agency. So what's happening with EXP is now EXP is just saying, hey, we're going to reward you for doing that. And with them doing that, they set up this sponsorship. And again, one of the things that I wish I would have knew was about the sponsorship and how important the sponsorship is when you join EXP. Okay, let's move on. The next is your platform matters. Now, when I say platform, what do I mean? The brokerage that you're at. Now, the brokerage name itself doesn't matter. Okay. The brokerage itself doesn't matter. And I'm going to say it like that. People do business with people. They don't do business with the brokerage. They do it with people. So whether you're at EXP, whether you're at uh, Keller Williams, whether you're at Century 21, doesn't matter. The person is going to do business with you. But the platform is going to dictate what you have, what opportunities you have. And with a traditional brokerage, the only opportunity that you have to make money is through selling and buying homes. That's it. That's it. That's the only way that you can get paid with a traditional brokerage is for you to buy, not for you to buy, but help people buy and sell homes. That puts you what? That puts you on a hamster wheel. You're just on a hamster wheel running. And when you close that deal, you're really unemployed. When you close that deal, you're really unemployed until you have another deal. You're unemployed. Because that's the way the platform is set up. But one of the things that I wish I would have knew before EXP is the way their platform is set up. See, when I was with EXP the first time, I didn't understand their platform. It wasn't explained to me correctly. Even when I was in it, I didn't know. I was just concentrating on buying homes and selling homes. With EXP, they give you an end game. With EXP... They give you something, they give you their, their platform, gives you the opportunity to get off the hamster wheel. Now, right now, I'm talking to my business owners. I'm talking to my business owners. I'm not talking to people with employee mindsets. People with employee mindsets, I'm not knocking y'all. I'm not. Because a lot of people with employee mindsets, and I'm probably going to get a lot of flack for this, but they, they kind of gravitate to these 100% brokerages. Which I understand. Some people say, listen, I need all my money right now. I understand. But you're not getting a lot of resources by being at this. Why? Because they don't have a lot of money because they're paying it all to you. So they can't really help you grow. They, yeah, they'll offer you some, maybe some cheap online training, but that's it. You're not going to get no real services. Why? Because they don't have the money. And then also, you're getting all of the money, which is good, but how is that getting you off the hamster wheel, people? That's what I'm looking to do. Get you guys off the hamster wheel. With the traditional brokerage platform, you can't get off the hamster wheel. But with EXP, hey, you can do buying and, and on selling. Of course you can do buying and selling. Okay. But there's other things you can do. There's other opportunities that you have. There's other opportunities that you have with this platform. For example, you can be an owner. We run around here as realtors and we're trying to convince people to go from renting to owning when most of us are renting our business. At EXP, you're a shareholder. You can get stock in your company, meaning what? You're an owner. 
So you can take advantage of other people's money. You can take advantage of other people's technology. And if you're familiar with the cash flow quadrant, you'll know this puts you in the fourth quadrant, which is what? The investor's quadrant. If you're not an EXP, go and ask them, can you get stock in the company? Ask them. See if you, and if you do, see if you can get a discount on it. We get all the above at EXP. So you become an owner. You own your business at EXP. Also with EXP's platform, you have a chance to get off the hamster wheel, meaning what? You can grow your revenue sharing organization. What does that mean? That means that you can build your revenue organization so that at the start of every year or every month, you're having passive income coming in that you didn't work for. That's what passive income means, meaning money that you didn't work for. Why or how? Just by people who ask you about EXP, tell them about your experience. You come into contact with agents all day. Agents are moving and shaking all day. EXP is the best darn opportunity in real estate. Bar none, and I'm talking about rentals also. Now, once you get involved, once you join EXP and you find it out for yourself also, you just share, baby. Sharing is caring, as they say. And by sharing this, okay, for example, and this this kind of idea just hit me like this, boom, so I had to get out of what I was going to say. If you had, once, once I was overseas, and I had this chocolate, this French chocolate, and this was the best chocolate to the day I've ever tasted. And that chocolate was so good. I had to give other people it so they can experience what I was experiencing. Well, that's, how, that's what I feel about EXP. The experience with EXP within the Wolfpack has been so life-changing for me is that I want to share it with everybody because I need people to experience the same thing that I'm experiencing. I need people to experience that. So by me sharing this with other people and me helping people become the best version of them, I'm getting compensated for it. Why? Because of the platform. I can do the same thing at any other brokerage, but I'm not going to be compensated for it. Why? Because of the platform. Because the platform is not set up like EXP's platform. So if I would have knew from the beginning that I can't do this at other platforms, I would have never went anywhere else. Or once I, once I was at EXP, I would have stayed because of the platform. So yes, people do business with people. So yes, the name on the door doesn't matter, but the platform does. Because if the platform doesn't allow you passive income, you want that hamster wheel, baby. If the platform doesn't allow you to have stock, to have ownership in your business, you're self-employed. Meaning what? If you're looking at the cash flow quadrant, you're on the poor dead side. Why? Because you're self-employed. Self-employed is the same thing as being an employee. What's the difference? The boss is different. But you're still trading time for money. So if you're on a platform where you're still trading time for money, you're still on the hamster wheel. So I wish I would have knew about the platform because I would have been here sooner. OK, now, next, last but not least, the third thing I wish I would have knew. Before joining EXP is the importance of mentorship. What is mentorship? It's getting you from point A to point B the fastest way possible. Now, like I said, I was with all of these other companies. There was no mentorship program. At EXP, there's mentorship programs, number one, but even there's a mentorship program. 
But even if there wasn't a mentorship program, the way the structure is set up, there's a mentorship program. Because anybody that joins me, I'm going to mentor them directly because their success is in line with my success. So I'm going to speak with them. I'm going to check up with them. I'm going to mentor them and bring them my experience. And the people that I'm mentoring now, I can see how I'm giving them game and putting them closer to what needs to be done in hours, what took me years to learn. What took me years to learn, I'm putting them on immediately. Hey, don't do that, do this. Hey, don't do that, do this. Hey, so they're going from point A to point B in a straight line where I was going like this. And mentorship is not just having a sales manager. Mentorship is not just having a cool broker. Mentorship is somebody who has a vested interest in you. And this is not a charity. This is not a charity. But the way that EXP has things set up, the person, your sponsor, has a vested interest in you and it costs you, Nathan, it costs you absolutely nothing. It costs you absolutely nothing. But you join our sponsorship, you get one-on-one -on -one mentoring. And it doesn't cost you anything. At these other brokerages, again, you'll, you'll go to some and you'll get a sales manager, um, a team lead. You'll, you'll get all of these. You'll, some of these, you'll get all of these things. And at these other brokerages, I had these things. But it was nothing like a one-on-one -on -one mentorship. It was nothing like somebody calling you and knowing what your situation is without you having to say, yeah, I did this, 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 this. And then they're basically giving you feedback. Okay. So mentorship is super important and it gets you from point A to point B some uh, faster. And it comes from a person who's already been where you have been and where you want to go. So these are three things that I wish I would have knew. I wish I would have knew about the importance of sponsorship. I wish I would have knew about the importance of being on the right platform. And I wish I would have knew about the importance of mentorship before joining EXP. But now that I know, I'm giving you that gift of my experience. And if you do want to set up a one-on-one -on -one call with me, let me know. If you want to talk about um, the Wolfpack sponsorship, you can call me. Uh, all my information is in the description. Again, we, we can set up a one-on-one -on -one appointment through Zoom. Uh, we can meet there. We can talk on the phone or you can send me an email. I would love to talk up to you about the opportunity that we have at EXP and at the Wolfpack. Because again, I feel like this is the best darn opportunity in real estate, bar none. Again, it's Kyle and Nathan Aleem. And um Hey, if you have any questions, just let me know. And again, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a video. This is Colin Nathan Aleem, the real estate boy. Take care.